Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Abhul Sakthivel, and this is part 18 of the entire Playwright uh, TypeScript series and video 8 of the Framework Development series. We have created page object model, we have refactored the page object model, but then there are also possibilities that we could refactor it much further with the help of custom fixtures, right? So if you are using page object model with Playwright, it is very, very important that you use custom fixtures so that the code becomes much more readable and easy to write. So we will understand what's the problem, what is custom fixtures and how we could use it, right? So without wasting any time, um, let me get into the intelligent. So, so if you notice here, um, the current code that we have written, we are using a fixture uh, that is coming with the playwright itself. So this page fixture helps us to, you know, basically reuse all these stuff, right? You could create this page fixture yourself, right? You could also um, use the context and you could basically say page right, const page one equal to right um, context dot new page right so you could create your page instance like this as well but they have given it like this because you could reuse this wherever you want right so this is page fixture is basically a tab browser tab browser tab that will be created for you for each test and it will be deleted automatically by playwright for after each test. So that's it, very simple. Now, what is the problem with the current code? So let me uh, remove all the uh, things that I edited. So what I can do is do this, do this. Now, the problem with this code that we have written here is we have, um, we are going to the page, but then we are creating the objects ourselves. Again, we if you have multiple tests, we need to do the same thing again and again in every every page. So that is one of the problems. Like, even though this is not a big problem, like people who wants to follow this approach, they can still follow this approach. It's just that they have to write one extra line of code, but there is nothing wrong in terms of creating instances when you want to really use it and then use it and then close it, right? So this is actually good if you want to use it, but there are also, ways where you could avoid these boilerplates and that's what we're gonna see. So we don't want to create this ourselves. We don't want to create a home page instance. We want to don't want to create this add employee page instance. We don't want to do this by ourselves. What if playwright can, um, hey, what we can directly inject these objects, um, you know, we are fixtures so that our code becomes much readable. That's what we're going to do. So in order to do that, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a um, directory called as uh, fixtures because we're gonna create uh, more fixtures. And then I could name it as, uh, many people are naming it as base um, page and all that, but it's better to name what it actually does. So it's it's basically a fixture, right? So custom fixtures dot ts, right? Again, it's up to you. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is, um, so I'm gonna alter the existing, so import us from, Play a test, right? So once we import it, so we want to make some modification to this test. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename it as let's say base, right? So that I can make alterations to this. So now what I can do is simply um, base dot extend. So you're going to extend and add more feature to it. So how are you going to extend? So this is how you're going to extend. So now what are all things that you need? What are fixes that you need? You need login page, you need home page, and then you need add employee page. So these are all the fixtures you need, right? So it's gonna be very simple. So first I need a login page. And uh, yeah, so login page is the key. And you can imagine this as your uh, value, but this value is not string or number. You can, you can consider this as a map. This is a map or object, right? So the key is this, but the value is basically a function and it's not a number or integer. So that's how, the node ecosystem is a little different, right? So you have a function here that access your value. So what is it function does? So it gives us, um, it's an async function that has uh, the page fixture um, from, from playwright. Um, and then, so this is basically a page fixture and you also get uh, the use method, which is very important here. So now what I'm going to do is, mm, I want to create a login page instance, right? So what I can do is I can call const login page equal to new login page. And uh, let me import this. And then I have to simply say 
um, how I use login page. That's it. Again, you don't have to create a variable if you don't if you understand what is happening. So you can cut it and you can directly create it. Not a problem. So now there are certain things you need to understand. Uh, this use method, whatever that you are entering before use method, okay, uh, before use method. So maybe I'll put a console um, dot log, and then I'll simply say login fixture, yeah. And then this here, I'll just put another console log, and I'll log my auto suggestions is overridden by uh, copilot so now yeah so now you, you can see this is tear down so so before creating the fixture it will execute this then it will create the fixture then it will after completing this fixture the, it will remove this so now let's go ahead and try to use this in our code okay so let's not touch the existing code so we have a couple of test classes here so i'm going to just um, copy it and just paste it now let me call it as page object model with custom fixture that's it now what you can do here is we can go to the custom fixture and then we can say um, export const test equal to this sorry export so now there is a module called custom fixture.es and we are exporting test. So instead of using test from playwright test, we need to basically use um, import test from. So there is an E2E fixtures custom fixture. This is how we need to use it. Now what happens is you don't have, you don't, you can also add one more thing called as login page. So you can simply say you don't need this line and then you can just use login page dot login directly. So let's see what happens by running it. We just implemented only one. Uh, we will implement more, but we just want to understand what's happening. Oh, my bad. So what I can do is I can basically terminate this. I just want to run only one test. The test will obviously run. Uh, it just um, just works. Now the important thing that we need to understand is, if you notice this login fixture, uh, the the line that you are writing, bef um, you know, in the here is getting ex executed um, before this is getting created. So you can use these as well, but I would like to keep these fixtures very very simple to just only create um, instances so that. Uh, you know, it, it won't confuse us, right? So not everyone can understand what's happening in this fixture. So it's better to keep it very clean and just use it to create instance. Now we are done with login page. Now we need more. Uh, what you can do is you can say home page, and then you can, well, instead of using this whole stuff, you can simply say new home page. And this also can use just page. And now add employee page. Perfect. And let's import it. Good. Now everything looks good. So we don't need mm, this home page to be created like this. Instead, we could just say home page, right? And add employee page. The reason we are not getting it auto automatically coming here is because we didn't mention the type. So playwright doesn't know what it is. So I'll just remove this and everything works fine, right? Now, one of the problem is we don't need the page at all, but we are just using to navigate to this particular URL. What you can do is you can just move this code, okay? To, to basically login page and login log page. And you can say that is a, you can create a method async method let's say visit and you can just put this particular piece of code and this should be the start page now everything looks good you can go to the test here and then you can say mm -hmm. oh, wait 
login page dot uh, visit that's it so everything looks good now um let's try to run the test and see if everything works yeah everything really works it's all good so now uh, one of the important reason why we want to use um playwright uh, with typescript is because we need to use types so if you notice even though we have manually entered them uh, but it, it playwright doesn't know the types of it so there are chances that you could make a mistake here that's why we are moving away from javascript to typescript to leverage the types so um, you can mention the types as well so for example what i can do is um i can create const um, or you can just say interface and let's call this as page page picture and you can simply say this so now the space which pictures is of login page home page add employee page the so next time you add it you can just simply say this is of type this okay and you can remove all these unnecessary lines all looks good now okay now everything looks good if you go here you can clearly point out what type of player it really knows what type of uh, instance this is this is of type login page another important thing that you can do is if you notice this expect is coming from playwright test but the test is coming from our custom fixtures there are multiple import statements like we could optimize this let's say i want to move this um, i don't want to import it separately so what i can do is from the same custom fixture module i could also export um there is something called as expect right that's what we want to export from uh just it. so what we are doing is there is a playwright test module from that the expect is being um imported and re-exported re from this module so now instead of you having this you can simply say expect from here right you could also do it for environment right so you could um you know environment can also be part of your um custom picture right so you could also do that but uh, it's it's better to have it like this so we really understand the cnv is coming from this particular one right so everything looks good now uh, and the test is also passed right so this is how the clean uh, code becomes right so previously if you notice we had some tests and uh, they are they are doing a lot of other stuff as well right so here you could add more page objects for example if you want more pages to be created you can create them and uh, your code looks much much simpler with the help of uh, the custom pictures right so tomorrow if you want to add a new page you just need to add new page here and you have to just add one more um, you know key value pass right so that's how easy you could create a custom picture and use it in your code and um, i'll see you guys in another great video until then tada bye from mumbai